Afternoon, everyone. Um, we just just landed. Just landed in Morocco. I'll show you everyone now. Yep, there we are. Anyway, there we go. We're, we're Morocco. Um, oh, look at that over there. Um, so we'll um, make another video soon, just to let you know. Um, and we're settling into our five star hotel. <laughs> So um, we finally got to the bivouac, 1067. This is our home. I haven't sorted anything out yet. We haven't sorted any administration out there because we've um, probably drank about 54 litres of water. So um, we've got to go and find a little boys room. But um, that's, that's our home. And I'll take you for a little wander around the rest of the bivouac. I haven't seen it myself yet. So basically all of the, all of the, um, they're called Berber tents. They're all in concentric circles and all nations. I think the, I think the, the outer two um, circles are the UK and um, I think this one to France, and all the way over, all the way over there. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's finally, finally here, Peter. Finally here. Yeah. How many checks? How many checks have you done today? I've done about a million checks today, <laughs> and it, oh, we've still got a couple to go. But we, we still are got a here. We are. It seemed like we take two steps forward, and there'd be somebody asking us for our COVID pass, yeah. our entrance to Morocco form, yeah. our passport. We wait for um, ECG. ECG be now or soon. Um, there's, there's the middle. That's where um, well, Patrick will be doing his safety brief in a little while. So um, yeah, we're just we and Peter are going to go look for the little boys room now. And um yeah, yeah. So this is day two in the bivouac. As you can see, we've still got all of our kit. We're finally going to get rid of our safety blankets. How are we feeling, guys? Good. Oh, we all feeling really, good? Yeah, you, ha really you, gonna, for you happy to get rid of your, your suitcases now? Yeah, you self-sufficient? We'll be all right. <laughs> happy days. When we give these in now, that's us. Next. I don't even know how many days. I'm not even counting. Yeah. So, this is day, that's what you could call it, day two in the bivouac now, as you can see, bivouac behind me. And uh, see those little, see those little white sort of plastic thing? That's uh, the toilets, five-star toilets. So, um, yeah, we got to, the, got to the camp yesterday, probably about, about five o'clock, I think it was. And um, got shown to our our tent, and uh, we had a bit of a bit of a result actually because obviously there was still one of our one of our team that unfortunately was not coming. They were still on the list, and um, there was two other guys who were supposed to be in our tent, and one of them, you know, unfortunately for him, tested positive. So there's only um, five of us in a tent where there should be. This should be in, so it's a bit of a result. So yeah, so we did that. Um, sort of 
and pack their kit, pack their kit, and pack their kit. For the last two days, it's been unpack, pack, unpack, pack. Get this document ready, get up, document ready. It's been crazy, but now um, we've just handed our our sort of suitcase, if you like. We just handed that back, and that is it. Now we are ready to start tomorrow. So this morning, woke up, had some breakfast, then we had to go through our sort of technical checks where. Um, they make sure that you've got all the correct kit. Make sure you've got your ECG, your medical form. Make sure you've got enough food and so on and so forth. Although they didn't actually, they didn't actually check um, anything. They just they wager, they wager day sack. And I suppose if it was, if it looked a bit too light, they probably said, "Show me this, that, the other." But um, they said they were going to do everything, but they didn't actually do it. Um, so wait. <laughs> Been a bit of a, it's been a bit of an ongoing joke as well in my tent um, because I've got so much food, but I don't want to be angry. I really don't want to be angry. And when we all just weighed in, I think Nick, I think Nick came in seven point two kilos. I think Pete's eight something. Um, Ronnie was ten something, and I'm thirty point eight. <laughs> but you know what? It is what it is. Um, when they come crying to me because they're starving, then I'll have to be like bailing them out with food. Um, they have already had a walk. They already woke up this morning, mind, because I had a nice cozy sleeping bag. They've all gone for sleeping bags that all fold down to, an, to a pan. They were all cold last night. And it was me. I was toasty. So um, I just got to carry all that weight now. But yeah, it's been good. Um, the advice we had was don't touch anything in the restaurant because it'll give you the squirts. But um, it's just, I don't know. We have, we have eaten some food. We're probably not going to eat any more of the food today, though. We're probably going to be on rations and then um, get ready to start tomorrow. But yeah, it's been um, finally here. There's nothing else. There's no other check now. we just got to wait it out today. It's going to be a long day just doing nothing today. Um, but then we start tomorrow. I uh, just want to talk a little bit about why I'm why I'm doing this so a couple of reasons and a couple of charities that I've raised money for the first charity I've raised money for is the Motivation and Learning Trust which is a charity that was set up by the company I work for MBCT and we're raising money for the MLT to we have a, a lot of young people that for whatever reason you know don't get the same opportunity don't get the same head start in life as other people so that is a what we do with our our day to day jobs, making sure we give the people the the, the, you know, the skills, the opportunity to go and live their, their best life. But sometimes there are some of our learners that need a little bit more, a little bit extra support. So that's what we're raising money for. So you know, so hopefully you know we can sort of help some young people that have either been a part of the MBCT or will do in the future. And. Another reason I'm, I'm raising money for, who another person on what company that I'm raising, raising money for is the National Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. Because again, um, I think it's a very, very worthwhile cause. Um, I contracted colitis back in, back in 2004, so I've lived for quite a long time. And it's, it's not a very nice, it's not a very nice disease to have. You know, it's affected me. It has affected my, my life quite quite a lot from day to day living. Um, you know, I manage it quite well now, but um, you know, there, are, there are ups and downs. And I just want to ace, you know, spread some awareness of you know, of the of the foundation and hopefully raise some hopefully raise some money. But also show you know show people who may be suffering with Crohn's or colitis that you know is it doesn't have to it doesn't have to stop. He doesn't have to say you know that's it you can't do this that the other um, because look at me I'm in the middle of the desert. Um, and you know I'm going to be sort of here with him, and I've always you know if you look right over my shoulder right there, that's the toilet bot. Um, so obviously, toilet facilities are a big thing when you you know when you suffer with either of those either of those conditions. Um, but I'm just got an idea to show you. Do you know what? With a little bit of prep, with a little bit of you know just thought, you know you can still do everything that you want to do. So hopefully that um, I will either inspire somebody or at least get somebody to you know find out a little bit more about the charity. Um, so that's pretty much it. Two charities I'm raising money for, and, reason, for. and uh, apart from that, is everything else about you know sort of making a doing something for my kids as well, um, just showing them that 
you can do whatever you set your mind to. Um, try and inspire those. So hopefully, that you know, in their lifetimes, you know, they either help people or push them, push themselves to achieve greatness. Because otherwise, why are we on this planet? So hopefully, you got a little bit out of why I'm doing this, and I'll keep a, I'll keep you a, a diary going every day with how I'm getting on. So bye bye. morning of the first race. Good luck everyone. Really good decision. Okay so good morning everyone this is um, the first day of the race as you can see lots and lots of excitement all the tents are coming down now we're having our first um, breakfast and Peter what have you gone for this morning? Gone for egg and onion. Egg and onion. What was I thinking? What a choice. Let's have a look. Let's have a little gander in here then. Wait there. Let me get a focus. It won't, it, it's that bad. It won't even focus. So um, first bite now, Pete. Oh, let's see. I'll score it at ten. Go on. Out of ten. <laughs> Solid three out. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> Nick, what have you gone for? I've had a spaghetti bolognese. I've got dried mixed fruit and pineapple. Is it, is it and an orange, orange as well. Because I can't count it for day four. And then, um, Ronnie, what you got, mate? I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay. I've, got, oh, I've got a liquid breakfast. Liquid smaller. breakfast. And um, oh, I just, no. I'm just tucking into mine. I've got um, porridge with blueberries. 1,000 calories. So I'll probably still be eating this at 12 o'clock. Here we go, here we go. Look. Here we go, here we go. And there's the owl admin. Oh, look at that admin. And this is our... I just like to point out, Pete, all, 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 <laughs> my, all my kit packed up by there. Um, Mate, you're doing brilliant. Oh, look, oh, look, admin, look at my admin. space. I've got oh, badminton everywhere. Oh, look at that scent. There's no wind this morning, though. No. We can't, we can't see, we can't see Jason's either. <laughs> no, it's real when the camels are here. So, day one is finally here. It's now. Seven o'clock. Um, just had a. Well, we had a tent taken down at six o'clock. I've been awake since three o'clock, so my admin's all squared away. Um, there's some admin disasters around here, mind. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all here now. So we got to wait another two hours until we start. We got a, a briefing at twenty to nine, and we're ready to go. It's, yesterday we woke up. And we had some. We had to obviously give our technical checks. So we were standing in the queue at nine o'clock. I was like, oh, I'd be happy. I'd be happy if it was like this tomorrow. So it was a nice breeze and what so on. Now, bacon. Um, <laughs> seven o'clock. So I think it's going to be a hot one. But, um, hey ho! It's what we um, what we signed up for. So um, yeah, I'll let you know how we get on. Um, something else that I've that I've done for this every single day. I've sort of like um, dedicated it. You know, to, to somebody, just because if things get tough, you know, I'll just you know they'll give me a, bit, a little bit of strength. And the um, the first day is going to my my firstborn, Ben. Um, so thank you very much. I know Ben has sent me a sent me a message. So thank you very much, Ben. Um, what are you thinking of you today, mate? Um, like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go stop you, anything, but um, um, you know I love you. Um, just keep on being you, mate. Right, this is us now. The time is what time? Uh, eight eleven. Eight eleven. Okay. So eight eleven. We got half an hour before we got to go and over to the start line. At start stage one. Where's the start line, mate? Start line. Turn it round, mate. See it up there. <laughs> See. Wish us luck, everyone. See you soon. Heading up to the start line for the first time. <laughs> Are you feeling, Ronster? Yeah. Well, ready. Baby day. Well, good, good, well. good. Bit of James Brown playing on the start line. Oh, here we go. Flag high, 
Zip. Never start line for the first time. Woo. Really coming into the first checkpoint. So, um, the 12k, um, probably, probably run about, god, 94%. But, um, I don't know, I'm just scared that something's gonna come out and beat my ass. So, I might have a little walk after these to be there. And, um, that's it, it's being tired. So you go through me quickly. So um see you later. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, it's getting hot now. But um dare I say it. I'm myself. This is <laughs> I hope I don't live to regret those words though. But oh my god, it's out of this world. So End of day one, you can just about see there's the finish line. We're all feeling good. Feeling trapped. Feeling good. So we are all back in the tent. Say hello guys. Yep. Hello. Say hello guys. Right. So day one, done and dusted. 30 odd, no, was it just, yeah, just over 30 kilometers in, I think it was, I think at one point it was 70 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't 70 degrees, but it was hot. Um, but yeah, it was a good first day. Um, plenty of, a little bit of hard ground some dunes to get us into but again to make sure that our feet are good our packs my day sack is split on the bottom so too much, food too much food might have something to do with seven <laughs> kilo of food that i had <laughs> what i noticed in the morning is every morning we pack our kit up all the chogies coming coming basically coming around me waiting for me to get rid of my food <laughs> but i'm i'm tight i'm from newport i won't be getting rid of my food but um it's all good it's all good we're all feeling good spirits are high um, what's the time now? The time is now 22, the hour of four. So a bit of admin now, squaring our feet away, sorting our bodies out, stretching, and um, rehydrating, get some calories in us, and um, that's it, ready to go for day two tomorrow. Sleep, yeah, we'll some sleep. Day two tomorrow, big, bigger day tomorrow, 30, 38, 
Kays, and we're going to start to introduce some Jebels tomorrow. So, um, yep, stay tuned. So, day one is finished. We did it, Ben. We got to the end. So, a um, couple of observations, tips that I could give sort of like on the end of the day one. So, we started, we started the day. Um, try to get try to get to the front so we can you know part the photo, part the atmosphere and stuff like that. And then uh, and then we and obviously when we're all one on the line, quite easy to get caught up at the moment and I didn't plan to go that fast today. Um, I just wanted just to test it out. I was I was a little bit apprehensive about how my body would handle the heat. But then I got caught up in the bloody traffic running and I was just telling myself that don't stop running now because you'll look stupid. So I run so I pretty much run probably the first the first 10k bar, a couple of stints going up up the dunes. And I, I felt okay. My heart rate I was, I was one thing I did do though is monitor my heart rate. I wanted to keep my heart rate under 155. My normal my normal running heart rate is around 135 so I'll give it I'll give it 20 20 beats. But anything over sort of so I like go around well, like one six five then that was my cue to slow down. Um, so yeah, so that went so that went well. Um, then we went on to checkpoint. I like say so checkpoint one was about eleven or twelve k. Then you had the option about either having one bottle or two bottles, and there was another ten k to go. And I should have taken one bottle, but I took two bottles. So then obviously. I'm, I filled my bottles up, but then I had another litre and a half of water. So it was a nightmare trying to carry that because I was trying to carry it on the top of my bum bag and then I was carrying it in my hand. Um, I didn't want to waste it, and so it was a pain. Yeah, so if I, would, if I was doing that next time, 10k, 10k is probably enough for a litre and a half of water than it was today anyway. So that was something I learned from, from today. Um, but yeah, it's um, something else that that I uh, realised after a couple of hours was because I was in that habit of running then I was just looking down the path looking down at my feet making sure I wasn't tripping over and then all of a sudden it just dawned on me I looked around and I was missing all of the scenery I was missing all of the experience because I was so focused on where my feet were going so again that's something that I'm going to take in tomorrow is I'm not going to be on the podium and I want to make sure I get the most of this experience so probably going to slow down slow down a bit tomorrow so um, I did I did okay today um, like I say I'm not a, I'm not a runner <laughs> my pack was <laughs> my pack was over 40 kilos um, but I did it in 408 and I think I was 216th out of, out of the field of 900 odd so I'm happy with that um, so yeah we got back and squared my admin I've, I've eaten I've eaten 3,751 calories today the boys in the tent didn't think I, that I had too much food but um, I've gone through it but it's a trade off it's a lot of it's a lot of weight but then obviously I've been eating a, a, a lot of food so again you know depending on how, how many calories you burn will depend on how many calories you need, to, you need to bring but also taking into consideration how much how much food weighs because that is the biggest weight that's going to be in in the rucksack is, is the food so um, but I feel I feel good got us feet of feet of hell they really well actually um, again you know I was lucky enough to go down to like Merthamara I would you know if, if you're looking to, to sort of to do this you have to go on sand or at least very uneven ground because the way you the way your foot moves when it's on sand if you if you're if you're not used to doing that that's you know that's where the blisters are going to come. If you're just used to just pounding roads, when you're just up and down, up and down, up and down, that's where you're going to come across. So you need to you need to train when your foot moves in all different directions. So I said my feet have been okay. I had a couple of sort of blisters that healed coming into this, and that's all I got at the moment. So feet are, feet are going feet are going well. Um, so like I say it's now it's now ten to seven. Um, sun's going down again. Just look look behind me. Absolutely. Fantastic, spectacular! Um, it's really been a, a fantastic day, you know. Um, it really has. So early night tonight, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be people's. I don't think anyone's gonna have a problem sleeping tonight. Um, and then get ready to start again tomorrow. Like I say it's a big day tomorrow. Um, 
we're adding another eight or nine K, starting off going over over a gerbil, then there's a big gerbil at the end. I think it's sort of like 900, 900 meters elevation, going over that to finish um, the end of tomorrow. So um, I'll keep you, uh, keep you posted. Day two, um, slept quite well. We've been we're going to bed at eight o'clock in the evening, so because it's dark, nothing else to do. So I can only sleep so many hours. I guess it's three o'clock. I'm awake. I can't really do anything. Um, I slept okay. Snoring wasn't as wasn't as bad last night. Um, so yeah, I feel good. My legs feel okay. My back feels okay, and I'm ready to go again. So. They say day two, 38 ki uh, kilometers. This one's for you, Amber. I just watched your video. Thank you very much. I got a little bit dizzy actually watching it. But um, thank you very much, babe. You know I love you. Just um, I hope you're looking after the. You're helping out. You're looking after your mother back at home, not causing too many dramas. But I'd like to say this is for you, babe. And um, I'll see you all soon. Good morning everyone! A bit of a music to the next music. Let's play together! It's a little dance beat. It's a little dance. Dancing, dancing. There we go, boys! <laughs> Flying the last flag in this harbour. Stereophonics in the ears. Having a good time, having a good time. So here we go. I need to stop stopping the bloody film. We're starting to go up, as you see in the distance. Going over, over the dunes now. Hee <laughs> hee! So here we come in. In the checkpoint. Go in now. Quite, quite a strange operation actually. Go in to make sure they're alright. Do some water. I'm going to get a bloody day sack next. Wind's really kicking up now. But. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is the morning ritual, they come around and just like that There's Nick there Here we go, there's Ronnie Hold on. And all of a sudden And like this, like that, we have got a roof. Morning. Day three. <sighs> feel a bit like feel a bit shitty if I'm honest. Um, didn't film. Didn't give you a. Didn't film the end of day two because it was it was emotional. Um, we lost 49 people yesterday. Unfortunately. If I'm speaking. It was just we had a sandstorm. Um, it was 38k, and it was just oh, I got emotional. I went to a, I went to a couple of dark places, and um, yeah. So day three now. We went over this big jabble and we go back over this morning. So I got back to camp last night, dehydrated. I just couldn't really do anything. I was just, just longing and um, I woke up this morning feeling a bit better. I feel a bit sick again now. I don't know if it's because I just eat a thousand calories, but yeah, it's going to take it nice, nice and slow today. Nice and slow today. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a shock yesterday. It was, I'm just listening to people around the camp. I think it was. It was the same. It was the same for everyone. It was just, yeah, it was just a bit of a shock. But day three now, it's a little bit of a 32k today. So um, I get a bit emotional. Um,
Morning, everyone. Yeah, day four, the long day. 80, I think it's 88k, 88, 88, 88 something like that. I feel better than I did yesterday. I still feel a bit sicky, but it's, I'm putting it down to trying to eat 1,000 calories of porridge in the morning. Um, last night was okay, oh, bloody wind. Wind didn't stop till gone midnight. Our tent, our tent collapsed. Um, I slept, <laughs> slept through half of it. I woke up, Ronnie was, Ronnie was clambering over me trying to put the tent back. I was like, where am I? Um, yeah, the wind was just, just coming through all, they said, from way after midnight. Um, so yeah, so we haven't had much sleep. But hey ho, it's another day. Um, morale is high. Like I say, um, just gotta get, gotta get through this. I'm gonna, like I said, um, I'm gonna go with my other tent mate, Jason, today. I want to really experience this, you know. I don't want to get to tomorrow and just be like, just grizz through it. I want to, you know, really have an experience, talk to people, get to know their story. And have a good day. So, um, today's dedicated to this my wife. I don't know where it is. Anyway, thanks for all the support you've given me towards this. Long day today. We started just coming to 5k in. Um, was it 80? 85, 85 point eight, I think. So, um, yeah, it's all good. And um, last time I did this sort of distance would have been the Thunder Walk. So, a big shout out to Ed, Mark, and Nick. Um, the times we are there. We're awesome, and um, when I'm tonight, I'll probably remember the times we were walking down the lanes, giggling, but not knowing what we were giggling about. Because you start to lose a sense of reality, really. So, we think of you guys um, at two o'clock this morning, probably. Thanks. I've never been so glad to see rain in all of my life. Well, wait, Jace, but rain. No rain, that's last night, that. Yeah, I've, been, I've rained down for five hours last night. But, um, let's see. It's still over 28 degrees, so. But, oh my God. Bless him. God bless him. So, here we are now on the long day. Going, uh, 11.2 k's in and yesterday one of there's a bush on one of the jebels broke my wasp flag so i think because it broke my wasp flag my wasp flag has come back with a vengeance and given us rain it is raining in the sahara desert i've never been so glad to see rain <laughs>
space. Number two, number three, certainly. It's taken us four, three quarters hours to get here. Taking these guys less than two. So, up checkpoint three now with um, Jason. That is third, give or take 35k. Um, to stop some quick fuel and we're right on. 50k to go. And it's five past four in the afternoon. See you soon. Look at that, look at the size of that, it's a big, massive. <laughs> it's like the size of a house. So, how are we doing? We are 45 kilometers in to 85 kilometer long day. Still feeling good, feeling strong. Um, Feet are hurting, but not hurt, but not hurting enough to stop me because that's an excuse. I don't give excuses. Remember, make your reason why bigger than your best excuse. Today's for Lucy, and if I quit because I'm on my feet today, kill me. So, it's not happen. So yeah, over halfway now, just coming up to checkpoint four. So um, I think we're gonna just go through this one, go another 12K, I'll stop and have some food, because I'm um, quite um, packaged now. See you soon. So there's the finish line. 85. What am I trying to get there? 0. 0.4 kilometers. We'll be going for 18 hours, 30 minutes, and 6 seconds. How you feeling, Jace? <laughs> we've just, we've just intervaled. The last 10k because our feet are in that much pain, we just needed to get back. So we were running. So, um, strike me, we are strike me. We'll go back now, put some docks on us, see what I can do with our feet. But, um, yes, a little emotional day. Um, see you later. So I just crossed over the finish line <laughs> four minutes past three in the morning. Yes. Now it's time for my sweet tea. I'm trying to sort my feet out and then get my head down. End of the long day. Ready to go. So in MDS tradition, on the long day, everybody in, comes out and taps in the last person. I think there's, there's two of them, they've been going now for 32 hours. That's where you could see the spirit of MPSs.
So I did the laundry yesterday, got in like five past three, and um, my feet were absolute bits. And um, Doc Trotters wasn't open, so I just just took uh, managed to just put some iodine patches and seal the the open wounds on my feet, and then try to get try to get some sleep. Had about half an hour's sleep because obviously people were still coming in. And went over to Doc Trotters at about seven this morning. Had uh, they take my feet up, but um, I'm in absolute agony. So tomorrow is going to be hell on earth. But it is what it is. Um, the company is a bit of opera in the, in the busy rack. Um, but I, can't, I really don't want to move anywhere. Um, I really don't because I got to put those stupid bloody hotel sliders on. They just aggravate everything on my feet. And um, it's too much pain. It's not worth it. Uh, we had a little bit of a treat bait an hour ago. We had a can of coke. A can of coke, so that was very well received. Um, got morale up a little bit. Um, so yeah, so this time tomorrow, it will all be over, apart from the charity stage, which I can't wait for that as well. On my feet again. But, um, see you soon. So this is it, day six, marathon stage. This is what it's all come down to. Um, my feet are absolute bits. But yesterday we watched the last competitor come in after 36 hours and he had nothing on his feet. So if he can do that, then I can do this. So um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a, potentially gonna be a long day, but I just need to get this done now. And this one is dedicated to everyone that supported me of the work and go fit, friends, family, everybody that has supported you along the way. This one's for you guys, so let's get this done. So final well, marathon stage now, guys. Obviously these two, these two people um, got out a little bit later because they were naughty last night. So they so they have to so they have to stay behind and wait wait for an hour or so. <laughs> You're in detention. Um, we're going out in about half an hour's time. These guys are going out in half an stage. Are you feeling run? Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, yeah. I consider them like, I'm not too bad, mate. Just want to get done with it, get done with it. Happy days. Nick, how are you feeling? Good, good, mate. Yeah, ready to go. Ready to get it snapped off and then we're done. Done. Get it dusted. <laughs> See you later. One minute to the start, and here we go, energizing music from Sosa PPIP. Boy, thanks everyone. So here we are on the marathon stage. Feel late feeling, mate? I felt better now. <laughs> Look at that, two Welsh flags running across the Sahara Desert. We know. Six and a half K in to 42. 42. Look at there. Both our feet are in bits, but um, it's not going to stop us. It's not going to stop us. It's a D3 now. This passed me at 20.3 K. They started. Um, there we are. Hi guys, how's it going? This is the most I've run all week. I'm 20k in, still running. Um, well, saved it all for the last day here. Um, one of the reasons is my 
feet. In agony. In agony for a walk. In agony for a breath. So, I might as well get over and done with quicker. So, here we go. Nearly halfway, and I'll be finishing the MDS. So, there's 11k left of the NDS. So, 36 NDS. 11k. 11k is my, my go to run. But I didn't have time to head from my house, I'd be in four and back. So, all those mornings, I was cold and wet. I was at the five in the house. I'd go and do my 11k behind the bank. So, I got left. That's what's standing between me and the medal. Yes. Look at this. In the distance. That's it. It's the end. The end of the end, yes. This is it, guys. The end. The end of 42.2 kilometers today. The end of all the time stages of the MDS. Thanks, Lexi. Thank you to everybody that has supported me. They wish me well. And I'm um, with Diggy Bread. Agony. I couldn't get my shoes on this morning. I had to take the insoles out. I had to take my laces up and eyelet. I had to fight the thinnest socks I had. Just squeeze my feet into my shoes. Body give me some cocoa more. And I just had to say, if I can walk, then I'll finish. And it was so painful to walk. It was less painful to run. So it was either run or don't finish. So I had to run the marathon. So I think I finished in 5.50s, something, three, something like that. So I just like to say thank you to everyone. <sighs> Supporting me. Especially my family, to my kids, Ben, Amber, Ruben. Hopefully, be proud of me. And I showed you that your body could do stuff you don't think possible when quitting's not an option. My wife. Who has stood by me through all of this? I love you, babe. To my family, friends, everyone. This is for you. <laughs> Tell you what, I've never been so much in all my life today, here this week. It's been bloody crazy. But it's, it's done now. Um, so, one more stage, charity stage left to do now. And, um, and that's it. So it's been an adventure. Learned a lot. Take myself. And um, <laughs> would I do it again? I don't think so. <laughs> My feet wouldn't let me. My feet wouldn't let me. This race is not about how fit you are. This race is a war of attrition. It's, it's, can your body take it? Can your feet cope with this? Can your body cope with being in the sun for a long periods of time? Fitness, you will be fit, but that's, I think that's great. I think that's further down the line. It's whether or not you've got the mental, you've got the grit, 
to be able to go and keep going. And when your body says no, you're still going. Quarter past six on the final day in the desert. Look at that sunrise. Absolutely amazing. The bivouac, the final time. Let's have a look. Let's have a look inside then. Oh, JC, do you, mate? Yeah. Are you, uh, you going to be sad to leave the bivouac today? Not really, mate. <laughs> In general, it's been a lovely experience, but the matter man, it's just like, <laughs> man's just like, man's just like, man's just like, Ronnie's got the little boy Zoom. Nick, what about you? Are you going to miss, are you going to miss the video act? Uh, not really. Um, and I'm looking forward to hurry up and wait today. It's like being in the army again. <laughs> you are still in the army. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this is... There's, there's the empty flag and backwards. Ronnie put on backwards, left eye goes in. We'll forgive him for that. It's been, a, it's been the most look of the days. But yeah, this is the final time, guys. Um, even the video at charity stage, 7k. Go in if you can just see over there. Go in over those because we haven't been over in the sand today, so we'll um, the Zuga dreams. We'll go over there. It's a bit of fun. My feet have been crying all night. Um, so these are my feet. <laughs> I've got the state of them. My camp sliders are absolutely don't ever bring camp sliders to the baby act. I took my the insoles that I took at my trainers yesterday, I've rock taped them up to a little bit more protection. Because this ground is not good when you've got camp sliders. If I come again, and I won't come again, I bring proper sliders at least. Um great. I'm riding the tail. Just got off the coach after the sex row bust on me. Uh, Similarly, sorry. Similarly, quite old. Please tell me. Alright, so I've just been treated to some entertainment on arrival. Uh, we're just about to get to the bar and crack the beers. 
get the beers open before we check in because there's a bit of a queue to check in. Just like that, it's all over. Just getting on the plate now. Would I come and do this again? Gotta say never.